Hi everyone! In this video, we will understand why we use RNN and when we use RNN and how to implement it using TensorFlow 2. First of all, let's understand why we use RNN. RNN is very powerful on the input where the sequence is very very important. Here is a very simple example. We have two types of sentence with same words but in different sequence. I am a boy is a statement while am I a boy is a question. Intuitively, we know the sequence of I and am is very important to classify these two sentences. So this is just simple binary classification. Let's use deep learning to solve this problem. Since input should be numbers, for any machine learning model, we will use bag of words trick to encode sentences into numbers. As you can see, since these two sentences have same words inside, the encoding of two sentences are now identical. Therefore, the deep learning model cannot differentiate these two sentences. What was the main issue here? The main issue is the back of words trick. Since back of words removed the word sequence, the deep learning model couldn't differentiate two different inputs. This is the place where the RNN can be very powerful since RNN keeps and utilizes sequence of inputs for its decision. Let's see how the RNN keeps input sequence. First word I comes into RNN cell and the RNN cell returns output. And then the second word M is coming. Here you can see the current RNN cell utilizes previous output with the current input to return its output. And same thing happens to the next RNN cell. Eventually the last output can represent the whole sentence as a numeric value and as you have seen, the vector has generated with a sequence of inputs. Since the output is a vector, we, have, we can use the dense layer with softmax to classify this sentence into statement or question class. You can see very simple four lines of TensorFlow to code for implementing sentence classification here. And as always, you can practice with Collab by going my GitHub link at the bottom of this slide or at the description field in this video. You might have a question that where do we use each state of RNN cell? Actually, the each state is very useful when we classify each state. For example, part of speech tagging, name entity recognition. Here I give you the classifying English word into subject, verb, or object. Since each state is also vector, we can use a dense layer with softmax to classify this into predefined classes. And here you can see very simple TensorFlow to code for implementing this as well. Remember, uh, set the return sequence as true to get the each state and use a time distributed function to play with each state. Once you train the model, you will see the John and Jane's class changes depend on each position. You can practice this also from my GitHub link as well. RNN cell state and output is just identical value. For example, you can see that the last RNN cell state and output are identical from this slide as well. You may be interested in how the RNN cell calculates state and output. So here you go. First thing to remember is that the RNN cell uses two inputs, where the first input is the current token and the second input is the previous RNN cell's output. And most importantly, we should remember there is just one RNN cell and we just reuse it. What it means is that the old RNN cell for each input has the same weight and bias. If we don't understand it now, it is okay since I will manually show you now to understand what I am talking now. As I said, the RNN cell takes the previous RNN cell's output and the current input value. Then the current input value will be multiplied with weight. And also previous RNN cells output also multiplied with its own weight. And we add these two values with the bias. And the value goes to 10H activation function. And finally the 10H output will be returned as output and state. Let's practice with real numbers here. 
let's suppose John C encoding is 1 and minus 1 and here we go first the encoding will be multiplied with weight then previous state which is 0 since it is first token will be just multiplied with each weight then add these values with bias then apply 10h activation function you can see the first RNN cells output now uh, the first RNN cell output is the previous RNN output of current RNN cell so we will do the same calculation we had in this uh, RNN cell and the same calculation will be in the next RNN cell as well remember and please check out that the weight and the bias in this RNN cell is just exactly the same as the previous RNN cell you also can check the TensorFlow to code that there is only one RNN cell in this network which is reused for every word. Thanks for watching. All examples uh, in, in the real TensorFlow code can be found in this link. And you can easily go there by clicking the link in this video's description field. I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.